among the fundamental basics of our belief is to believe that nothing occurs in this life without the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing comes into existence without the will of Allah azza wa jal because no one creates except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the belief of Ahl al-Sunnah wal Jama'ah. This is the belief of the Prophet. This is the belief of the companions. This is the belief of the scholars of Islam and all Muslims on earth. Whoever doesn't have this proper belief about Al-Qadr, he wouldn't be Muslim. So the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fulfilled in all the matters which Allah ta'ala willed according to the knowledge of Allah about these matters. That is what Allah knew eternally that it would exist. He willed for it to exist at the time in which Allah knew that it will exist. Allah willed for that thing to exist at that time, then it will exist at that time. Not before, not after. Because Allah willed for it to happen at that time. So it will happen according to the eternal knowledge and will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What Allah knew that it would not exist, that means Allah did not will for it to exist. So what Allah he knew by his eternal knowledge that it's going to exist, this means Allah willed for it to exist at that time. In the time that Allah knew it's going to exist in. What Allah Azza wa Jal knew that it would not exist, that means Allah did not will for it to exist. So nothing can enter into existence without the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Otherwise Allah would be weak and this is impossible. The will of Allah Azza wa Jal is an eternal attribute. The knowledge of Allah Azza wa Jal is also eternal. Like all of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The scholars of the creed said Al-irada, Al-irada tabi'atun lil'alam Which means the will of Allah conforms to his knowledge. That is Allah, what Allah willed to happen, Allah only willed to happen what He eternally knew that it would happen. And what Allah eternally knew that it will not happen, Allah did not will for it to happen. That's the creed of Ahl sunnah wal Jama'ah. So nothing happens in this universe except by the will of Allah Azza wa Jal. And no one gets any good or evil, and no one would be in good health or sickness, poverty or richness, or other than that except by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything that occurs in this universe is by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything that exists, exists by the will of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. The entities, the bodies, objects, and the actions, the humans, and the attributes of the humans, all of them exist by the will of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. The person would not be a Muslim if he carries in his heart any belief that contradicts this creed. It was narrated from Imam Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, that he said, no one would have the proper belief in his heart except if he believes firmly, without any doubt, that everything that happens to him would not miss him. And everything which misses him would not happen to him. That is, every good thing that he gets, Allah willed eternally for him to get. So mentally, it is impossible for him not to get it. And also it is impossible for him to get anything which Allah did not will for him to get. Because the will of Allah Azza wa Jal is certainly fulfilled. The will of Allah does not change. The will of Allah Azza wa Jal does not stop. No one can defeat the will of Allah Azza wa Jal. If for instance, your wife gave birth to a baby which is sick and you took that baby to the hospital for instance, you called all the professors and doctors there to treat him, you paid millions, then you hire a private aeroplane 
to take him to Europe, for instance, to Germany to treat him, you paid all what you have from your money. You brought the best doctors in the world. But at the end, your son didn't survive. The will of Allah Azza wa Jal was fulfilled and your will wasn't fulfilled. Because what you willed, you willed for your son to survive. From what happened, you know, that Allah didn't will for your son to survive. That's why you cannot go against the will of Allah Azza wa Jal. We gave you an example last week about one of the Qadariya. So when we say now Al Qadariya, you should know it means those who denied Al Qadar, those who didn't believe in the predestination of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the Qadariya met one of the Majus on the deck of a ship. Majus are the fire worshippers. Then that Qadari said to the Majusi, Embrace Islam. That Majusi knew about the belief of the Qadariya that they didn't believe in Al Qadar and the will of Allah. He replied him by saying, Allah didn't will for me to embrace Islam. Then that Qadari said to him, Allah willed for you, but Satan, but Satan stopped you. Satan prevented you from embracing Islam. He said, Allah willed for you to embrace Islam, but Satan prevented you. Then that Majusi said to him, so I'm with the stronger. Because according to the saying of the Qadari, Allah is weak and the will of Allah Azza wa Jal didn't get fulfilled. However, the will of Satan was fulfilled. So he made the will of Satan stronger than the will of Allah Azza wa Jal, and this is blasphemous. So the creed of the Qadariya, those who do not believe in Al-Qadr is blasphemous. It's against the fundamental basics of our creed and what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explained in the hadith. So memorize this and put it in your mind. Al-Qadr can bear how many meanings? Two, the first, the predestination of Allah Azza wa Jal, which is an eternal attribute of Allah Azza wa Jal, by which he makes things to happen as they are. That's the attribute of Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is not attributed with evil, because the attributes of Allah are not attributed with evil. That's the first meaning. The other meaning is the created things that occur according to the eternal predestination of Allah Azza wa Jal. I existed in this life by the eternal predestination of Allah Azza wa Jal. That means Allah willed for me to exist at this time. Satan existed at a point in time. This is because Allah willed for him to exist at that time. He didn't come into existence without the will of Allah Azza wa Jal. This doesn't happen. Nothing occurs in this world without the will of Allah and without the predestination of Allah Azza wa Jal. Nothing at all. Who created the whole universe? Allah Azza wa Jal. Who created angels? Who created human beings? Who created animals? Who created jinn? Whether believers or non-believers. Allah created them. So this universe and this world is created by Allah Azza wa Jal. The whole universe belongs, belongs to Allah Azza wa Jal. So nothing can happen in this universe and in this world without the will of Allah, without the eternal predestination of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if things can happen and occur in the dominion of Allah Azza wa Jal without his will, that means they happen against the will of Allah Azza wa Jal. The one who says that a thing can happen against the will of Allah Azza wa Jal, he made Allah weak. He attributed weakness to Allah Azza wa Jal by saying this, and this is blasphemous. To say that a thing can occur in this world, can happen, without the eternal predestination of Allah, 
without the eternal will of Allah Azza wa Jal, this will entail that Allah is weak and this is blasphemous.